Hey everyone, just a quick tutorial video now. Uh, as you can see from my older videos, I've created a Asteroid Quick Shot with my Mavic Pro. I'm pretty sure they'll be bringing out the Quick Shot at some point for it, but I'm a little bit impatient. So here we go. Right, so it's quite a long, drawn out process. Obviously, these things are never easy. Um, obviously, you've just seen the list of stuff that we need. So here. Here we go. Okay, first of all, you need to get yourself a 360 picture off of your Mavic. Um, use the app to stitch it together and not the DJI Media Maker because the Media Maker gives you the wrong ratio. I think you need to go for, I think it's a two for one ratio, so it's two wide, one high. Um, I don't think there's very specific on the resolution, um, but I know this one is two to one. First thing you need to do is go into your video, video editing software and you need to turn the picture into a video. What I do is use automatic settings and it will take the resolution off of the picture that you're putting in. So here I am just dragging it over. Sorry my Mac's running a little bit slow, I just updated it and done this video without actually restarting it so it's running a bit like crap to be honest. So change the resolution to custom and it will pick up the resolution of the picture. Then, just wait for a second, there we go. And then you just drag it to how long you want your video to be. All it's going to be is a video of a picture. So it's nothing too mental at the moment. So there we go, it's just a still that's not moving. Okay, so done that, need to export it. Okay, so there we go, export master file. Insta360 doesn't like, um, I think it's AVI files, no, QuickTime movies. So what you have to do is change it to export as an MPEG-4. This is the problem I was having when I was trying it, it just I couldn't get it to work. And there it is, the resolution that we need. Export it. There we go. I've sped up the process of the rendering and the export because otherwise we'll be sat here all night. Okay, well, whilst it's rendering, I will say though, when you're doing your 360, you need to film the footage leading up to it or away from it because that's how we're going to stitch this all together. Okay, so now we've got our video on our desktop. There we go. And there it is, just a video of a picture that doesn't move. All in the same ratio that we had it before. Okay, so let me go into our Insta360 software. No, don't want to update. Let's move it over. Okay, so now what this does is it uses that footage so we can drag it around. There we go, just like a normal standard 360 picture. What you can do then, is because it's a video, click up here to the capture, and it lets you set almost like waypoints through the video of different views. So let's just create one quickly now. To be honest, this isn't the best looking one, it was just a quick, let's just try it and do a video for everyone. I've had quite a few people ask me how I've done, it, done this. Um, and I kind of assumed they'd release the software by now, of how, or the update by now, but how they did it, but they clearly haven't. So all you do is use the little icon there to set like a waypoint. I've done it too quick. So you just drag it, click your waypoint, and then you move your picture around on your screen. Find the next waypoint. So if we zoom out to create like a little mini globe, And then click your waypoint button, there we go, and it remembers it. And you drag over to the next one. Like I don't use this software very often, but it actually works quite well. And if you look down the bottom left, there's four little icons where you can change the type of picture. So we drag it over, click. So we come back, and then this is what we've created. Like I said, it's not the best footage I've created, but it serves a purpose. See, look, that last bit, I've created a, two steps that are, are the same. So if we right-click those, 
delete the frame then so we move to a different position come back create a point that there we changed it to little planet I think so that creates more of a sky around the picture so create a little waypoint there and then come back into like a normal view you have to start your or end your pitch your little picture here in insta360 as the view of how your video ends that's the key to stitching them together you want it is a bit of a ball ache once you've got the two footage you've got to find two frames that are very similar and then you have to kind of stitch them together in one long piece. Okay, so when you're happy with this, which we are, actually we'll make the video a little bit smaller, our other end, stop us messing with something. Make sure the um, export bit rate on the right hand side is 17, uh, 17 megabytes. Then export it. Again, I've speeded this up. It, it does take quite long, this software. And like I said, my Mac's running a bit slow after the update. I didn't think about resetting it to be honest. Okay, so here it goes. Like I say, we don't need any special software. This Insta360 is free. You don't need Final Cut Pro. You can easily do this in iMovie. Unfortunately, I'm not a Windows user, so it's not. I'm unable to do it on there. But I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get the gist of what needs to be done. Okay, so now here is our final video from Insta360, which we've just created. Again, like I said, not the best, but as long as you start and end the footage in a way you can stitch to it. So like here, I'm, that's pretty much the view I had before I took the 360. So we go back into Final Cut. Eventually when it opens... create a new video so let's get rid of that new project this time call it something different change the custom settings to whatever film size you want to do 4k 1080p and then you just drag your footage down and that's it and like I say it's, it's the next step of it is just stitching this footage and your normal footage together. So I'm not going to show you how to do that bit because every footage is different. Everyone's style is a bit different. You just need to kind of create, find, find a bit of footage that you've got that is very similar to what you've created. And even if they're not perfect, they'll still work because it will just look like there's a small jump in the film. And until DJI released the firmware to allow us to do this, unfortunately this is what we're going to have to do. So there's our, pic our original picture that's taken off of the app that's stitched together. There is our picture turned into a video. And there is our Insta360 video of it moving around in the sky. So... There is three steps. It is a bit of a ball lake to do, but it's not as hard once you get used to it. Once once you've done it a couple of times, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get almost like a seamless video from one part to another. Well, that's it, guys, really. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.